Good afternoon. My name is Sam Spencer. I'm the president of the Young Democrats of North Carolina. The Young Democrats of North Carolina is the oldest partisan youth organization in North Carolina and has advocated for years for progressive policies that help empower youth in North Carolina. I'm joined today by some exceptional young Democrats. Doug Jackson is originally from Vance County and is a graduate of Davidson College. Dustin Ingalls is a graduate of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and is now the president of the Wake County Young Democrats. Lewis Duke is the Vice President of the College Democrats in North Carolina and is also a student at Campbell University. Uh, Elizabeth Goodwin has worked in voter protection and is a graduate of the law school at Wake Forest. And Seth Cook is the Vice President of the Young Democrats in North Carolina and just recently became a dad. Um, so today, we're here to talk about the future. And we know that the future may include a voter ID bill in North Carolina. All of us believe that a voter ID bill is wrong for North Carolina, wrong for elections, and unfairly hurts and suppresses the votes of young people. Voter ID is voter suppression. And that's why our young Democrats care so much about this bill and want to talk today. We'll start with Elizabeth Goodwin. Thank you, Sam. Um, one major concern I have regarding a uh, potential voter ID law is that two-thirds of those individuals who do not have IDs in the state of North Carolina are actually women. Now, this past time, this past election, when I went to go cast my vote, there was a moment there where um, I was unsure and the poll workers were unsure as to whether or not my vote had actually been cast because there was an issue with the machine. For that moment, my heart stopped and I felt awful that my voice may have been taken away. My voice as to who was going to run um, this country, uh, the state, and, and my city. Uh, so I can only imagine how women and others who don't have IDs may feel come the next election when they show up and are told that they can't vote. Um, I can tell you this past election cycle, I along with hundreds of others across the state uh, worked very hard to make sure that those who wanted to cast a ballot got to do so. Even so, there were over 50,000 provisional ballots cast. So we don't want voter ID. However, if we do have to have a voter ID law, we must make sure that it does not disenfranchise those who want to exercise their constitutional right to cast a vote. Thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, we'll now be hearing from Louis Duke, who's the Vice President of the College Democrats in North Carolina. Voter ID would without a doubt disproportionately disenfranchise college students across our state. In 2010, 15% of the youth that voted in the election did so without a driver's license. If we must have voter ID in the state of North Carolina, it needs to include student IDs. Uh, Seth Cook, the Vice President of the Young Democrats of North Carolina, has been working on elections for years and is going to talk more in depth about what our proposals are. <clears throat> uh, a couple of years ago, I um, did not have a valid driver's license, and so I, I can uh, understand uh, intimately what this um, problem um, fe must feel like. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to vote um, if the current ID laws in some states were in place here in North Carolina. Um, as we've heard before, uh, we don't want a voter ID bill. It does uh, equate to the uh, suppression of the vote um, of people who do not have an ID in this state. Almost a third are African American, and so in addition to women and young people, African Americans are certainly going to be hard hit uh, by um, a voter ID bill. That being the case, uh, we really like to, to point out um, a bill that is being circulated in the Senate right now, and I have it right here. Um, it is um, bipartisan, in other words, uh, senators uh, dem from the Democratic and Republican sides are working on it, and it has a number of provisions in it that we think um, may address this issue of uh, disenfranchising voters. Uh, and essentially, uh, the, the two main provisions are allowing students uh, to use their um, uh, university IDs uh, or their college IDs as uh, photo IDs um, when they go to the, the voting booth. That would certainly allow uh, students the, the right to vote. The other major provision is uh, signing an affidavit and a photo 
at the voting booth if you do not have an ID. Uh, and these things will essentially prevent and disallow uh, voter fraud, and, and if that's something that, the, that our legislature wants to tackle right now, uh, that's fine, as long as, from our perspective, it doesn't disenfranchise these major voting blocks uh, from coming out to the polls, young people, African Americans, and women. You've heard from people today who've had personal experience with voting. Young Democrats, young people of all stripes, whether they're unaffiliated Republicans, Libertarians, or, or just getting a part of the political process. Young people care deeply about having the right to vote. We care so much about being able to invest in who represents us and our great country and our great state. It is so important to young people that they do not get turned away when they are asked to participate in the electoral process for the first time. It is essential that any proposal that looks to suppress youth and minority votes gets struck down. So here's what we're asking. Senate Bill 235 is a bipartisan bill that should earn broad support. Bill 235 does a couple of important things. It makes sure that any college student at an accredited university can vote regardless of whether or not they have a driver's license. We know that an ever-increasing number of young people don't have a driver's license because they're, you know, just because they're choosing different ways to get around. We also know that Bill 235 does another important thing. What it does is it allows people to sign an affidavit at the polling place with a picture of themselves so that they can prove that they're the person they are. It doesn't prevent somebody from voting just because they don't have an ID that day. This is an important measure that makes sure that every vote is counted, that every person's voice is heard. We are calling on the General Assembly, both the Republicans and the Democrats, to say no to voter ID. But if you have to vote for voter ID, we would ask that you vote for Senate Bill 235 because we need a bipartisan solution. We are the Young Democrats of North Carolina, and we stand firmly for the ability of every North Carolinian to exercise their right to vote. Thank you for your time.